Talking Tech, Friday 3rd of May, and this week we start with a review of the much-hyped Rabbit R1. And reviewer David Pierce leads with his conclusion that artificial intelligence might someday make technology easier to use and even do things on your behalf. All the Rabbit R1 does right now is make me want to tear my hair out. So I won't be buying one of those then. Next up, TikTok and Universal Music Group end feud with new agreement. Universal Music Group has inked a multi-dimensional deal with TikTok that will see its roster of artists, which includes Taylor Swift, Drake, and Olivia Rodrigo, return to the social media platform's 1 billion plus users. UMG began pulling its music from TikTok on February 1st after the old contract expired. Notably, the deal will address concerns that UMG and its artists have with generative AI. TikTok and UMG will work together to ensure AI development across the music industry will protect human artistry and the economics that flow to those artists and songwriters, reads a press release announcing the deal. TikTok is also committed to working with UMG to remove unauthorized AI-generated music from the platform as well as tools to improve artist and songwriter attribution. WhatsApp's new feature lets you plan your next event. WhatsApp is adding a new way to plan and organize events in group messages, making it easier for friends and organizations like schools and neighborhoods to set up virtual and in-person meetings. Google is building a fart button into Android. The Google Phone app may soon let you tap on one of six audio emoji buttons to play a short sound clip that both sides can hear. If your iPhone alarm has gone quiet, Apple says not to be alarmed. See what I did there? Because they're working on a fix for you. And finally, Arc Browser arrives on Windows to take on Chrome and Edge. The excellent Arc Browser that's been impressing Mac OS and iOS users over the past couple of years is finally making its way to Windows. Arc on Windows also represents an important milestone in getting Apple's Swift apps running on the Microsoft OS. That's all for this week. I'll be back with more Talking Tech next Friday. Until then, cheerio.